we already have some big news about Fortnite Mares 2024. We've got some brand new collaborations like The Incredibles coming this week and Marvel Zombies coming very soon. Some new mythic bosses that are going to be on the island and so much more. So let's just jump into it with all the details including what's hidden within the files and also a lot of spooky surprises along the way. There's a lot of content out there so let's get into it. But first remember to use code HDHEXA before you purchase anything within the item shop. I've recently become an epic partner and I really appreciate it if you use my code. Here's a bunch of you guys hearted comments on screen now that have used my codes but the first 100 people that comment below that are using my code I'll feature them within a winner's wall in my creative map that anyone can see in game. This is my way of appreciating all the people that support me and I'm going to put them in my map. Like and subscribe for more updates. Fortnite Mayor's event 2024 is officially going to be kicking off on October the 15th and it's going to be wrapped up on November the 2nd. This is just as the season is about to end. This year is going to be slightly shorter than previous years which last year ran into October 10th to November the 3rd. But don't worry about that because there's still a lot of spooky stuff and a lot of fun content on the way. With Fortnite Mayor's ending on that day we're going to be getting some leaks and also teasers that is going to prepare us for the return of OG chapter 2. I'm sure you know this by now because when this video comes out it might be a little bit late but it's currently Fortnite's seventh birthday already so as they do every year they have some bonus rewards so by completing the first quest you actually get a wrap the second one is going to be a pickaxe and the third one is going to be a back bling. and if you complete all of the quests you're going to get a huge amount of xp by each quest being 20,000 xp so if you do this you're going to rank up a lot of time these quests are quite easy because one of them is just eating slices of cake if you eat seven of them you get 20,000 XP which is huge and at the same time you can actually get a free skin and a pickaxe this skin is called Felina as a bonus reward and if you earn 25 account levels you unlock the pickaxe and if you get 50 you unlock the skin with a few edit styles now this starts on the 24th of September and ends on the 1st of October so we haven't got very long to get these levels by the time you're watching this video this has already started so best of luck of getting them levels going back to Fortnite Mez, we actually have some big updates coming very soon and this major update is going to be some new POIs onto the map and there's going to be six new landmarks as well to land at for when Fortnite Mares first releases. One of the POI names is actually called Scary so expect this area to be pretty spooky. Unfortunately we do not have any more updates than that but I'm guessing this is actually linked to the storyline. Now I'm sure you know Doctor Doom is the main player for this season and pretty much the overall villain that we have but other than that we also have have Mephisto that is coming very soon. The reason we know this is because they're summoning circles around the map and this is where you can see that his statue is placed of his mother. Now you might not know this but Doctor Doom's mother is actually trapped by Mephisto in hell so it's up to Doctor Doom to try and get his mother's soul back but obviously that is going to be a bit difficult. We knew something with Mephisto is happening very soon as soon as we saw the tower that is next to Doom's castle but there's more and more hints over the weeks. The biggest one so far is that we actually see Mephisto so within a loading screen found this out within last week's update that was the ghost rider skin and in the background you can actually see mephisto if you didn't know within the comics johnny blaze is actually being granted the powers of ghost rider by mephisto so with him appearing within this loading screen makes a lot of sense if you're not convinced that's mephisto then the pickaxe of ghost rider's skin is actually called mephisto's scapula so already we see his name in the game the next huge collaboration is going to be very creepy and this is going to be Saw the franchise. If you make your way over to Doom's Castle you will notice a retro TV and it has been activated but is also in a static. Data miners have found out that is going to be Billy the puppet from Saw that is going to be coming in the next few weeks. This is going to be quite a fun collaboration because in the movie it's pretty terrifying and there's a lot of traps and challenges that you have to overcome so I'm quite excited for that. This is probably one of the most darkest and also graphic collaborations that we've seen Fortnite do because the all movies are pretty graphic. Our next topic is going to be about the mini battle passes. If you didn't know that we've had one every single season of this chapter. In season 1 we had the Ninja Turtles, in season 2 we had Avatar and then Pirates of the Caribbean in season 3. Nothing yet has been confirmed but there's obviously a strong possibility that we've had them in some of this year's Fortnite Mares. Hopefully we actually see some Marvel mashup skins that is going to be the zombie versions of Iron Man, maybe Spider-Man or other skins that would be very cool. I think straight away for a 
middle season battle pass would be just so cool and I think it'd get a lot of people excited if they were zombified. Another big collaboration we have coming soon as well is going to be Jason Voorhees. He's the iconic killer from Friday the 13th. This collaboration has been in the works for quite a while now with the original leaks being back in May. So this pretty much confirms that Jason is going to be a part of this year's Fortnite Mares event. Jason is a huge deal to horror fans because he's one of the most iconic villains that of all time so this would be very exciting if we get some theme challenges some upcoming skins and also other cosmetics it's very possible that we actually see him as a boss within the fortnite island that would be a very cool way to adding him for an addition fortnite mares event but we'll see what happens with that said i'm pretty sure we're going to see some classic halloween items coming back that is going to be the whip brooms the candy consumables and probably a load of other items and probably mythic related items that we might see as well so for the og people out there the fortnite halloween skins are going to be making their return that is going to be the ghoul trooper the skull trooper and so many others so for anyone that missed out on last year's nostalgia skins don't worry they're definitely going to be coming back in this year's update in the item shop a crazy new collab that we have coming this week is going to be the incredible this has already been confirmed that it's going to be coming for this week it's possible for when you're watching this video the skins are already out within the item shop the skins that are confirmed that are coming this week is going to be mr incredible a laxic girl and also frozone these will possibly come in edit styles as well with their original red and black suits and also their blue and black suits at the same time of when these skins come out also the incredibles vehicle is going to be able to be purchased as well this is going to be able to be used in rocket racing and battle royale doesn't sound like there's going to be any new mythics or items going to be into the game but hopefully we get something battle royale isn't going to be the only thing that is going to get an update this year we also have fortnite lego this news is quite exciting because lego is actually finally getting some updates with last week being the clombo update and now we're already getting prepared for the fortnite mares because if you didn't know pretty much since lego came out last year this whole time it has just been very stale with content and new updates there have been a few things but nothing crazy from what we've seen this new content for lego possibly could have some new enemies and also some more action-packed collaborations that are going to be in the event maybe some new items as well and possibly some decorations for the halloween so that is going to be everything so far that we know about fortnite mares 2024 don't forget to use code hdhexer within the item shop before you pick up anything i'd really appreciate it and stay tuned for more leaks by dropping a like and also subscribing as i've repeated myself in this video that a lot of these updates are going to be happening in the next few weeks i'm sure you know by now but every two weeks there is an update and with a whole surge of new information and then we get the next update a few weeks later so if there's a lot of repetition that is because there's a lot of information that comes out at once from leakers and it just gets us more excited for the upcoming updates like fortnite mares new mythics new items new skins so let me know what you think in the comments and like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video